Okay, now let's look at this jam physics question. Okay, it's more of a um, calculation. Okay, but listen, let's let's go uh, through it together. So listen closely. Okay, so this is on uh, pressure, and uh, this is the harder part of a pressure calculation. Okay, look at this. It says calculate the absolute pressure at the bottom of a lake at a depth of thirty two point eight meter. Assume the density of of the water to be this and the air above is at a pressure of this that's kilopascal the one uh zero one point three kilopascal and take g as this okay remember what's your formula for density okay i'm sorry for pressure is p equal to your height times the density times what your gravity g okay now we're looking for this it has asked us for the absolute pressure remember your calculation that what is absolute pressure which is the total pressure on the system okay is what p absolute uh, pressure equal to what the pressure in the liquid okay or or the substance of pressure whichever what whatever pressure we're looking at okay plus the atmospheric what pressure that is the absolute what pressure okay now from here i know everyone be wondering where is absolute uh, uh, what is the at atmospheric pressure what is what is it okay because in most pressure calculation they will always state you see it the atmospheric pressure is this but here you can see there's nothing like atmospheric pressure so what it is what is it what is this pa okay remember that the pressure on the surface of any liquid is what the atmospheric pressure so from this statement it says here the air above is at a pressure of this this that's the air above the liquid above the lake so this value is our atmospheric pressure you see that okay so this value is our atmospheric pressure because it is the air the pressure of the air above the lake so this is the atmospheric pressure because that's what atmospheric pressure is. is the pressure on the surface of any liquid. All right. Now, so for this to get our, our pressure in the liquid at this height, we now have to calculate it. And which is what our height, that's the depth times our density, then times this. So we have here, so to get P, we have a height, which is 32.8 times our density, this is 10 to the power 3, okay, which is 1,000, then times our G, which is what, 9.8. When we multiply this, you can use your jam calculator, okay? When you do this times this, you should get like, uh, 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 and multiply by this, we're going to get 3, 2, 1, you know, 10 to the power 3 is 1,000, you should know all this quickly, all right? So that'll be 1,000 times this times this, okay? So that we're going to get 3, 2, 1, 4, 4, 0 Pascal, okay? Now, after this now, so it means we're going to add this to this, right? And this value is what? This is a uh, 101.3 kilo Pascal. You can see where this question is tricky. This is kilo Pascal. So it means you have to convert this guy to kilo. And to convert to kilo means we what multiply uh, divide by what 1000. So when we divide our decimal point, we'll be here, right? You're gonna shift three places. One, two, three. Okay. So it means now this, this our P is finally 321.44 plus 101.3. And when we add this up, what are we gonna have? We're going to have uh this will be let me just bring this down here, okay? So this will be four seven point two two then four. So we're going to have our answer as B. Okay, so take note of these little silent things. All right, see this kilo here. You can see that I'm sure you might get here and you will just get confused and just leave the question. But it's just a, another simple step, okay? just another simple step and mind you please when you see deep calculation questions like this in physics please in your first you know i've, I've explained on strategies that you use in your first breeze you know when you go through your physics just any difficult calculation just leave it for later all right 
just pass through, pass through your entire physics, do the the ones without calculation, the ones that the calculation is straightforward and easy, then come to this. You can see how it took a bit of time. So this will take, you know, for your jam, you have approximately 40, 40 seconds per question. This might take you like two minutes to, to quickly go through. Okay? So be sensitive of all these little things, kilo, all right, in pressure. When they say the statement, the air above is at the pressure, they, are, they mean the what? Atmospheric pressure okay so thank you and remember this formula also that you, when you ask for the absolute pressure it is what the pressure that occurs in the liquid and uh, added to the atmospheric pressure okay so thank you and um see you in our next we're going to be as i said more of calculation till your exam day by god's grace so don't forget to get the dtw jam cbt app to practice more okay it has your past questions authentic past questions all the way from 1992 till date with their correct solutions there are even class notes that you can read from and practice from there's this, this feature called question search you can search for any topic and it brings up questions on that topic the lovely app to practice on your phone your laptops okay and the links are in my profile or the video description box of this video or you can whatsapp me my whatsapp details is also in my profile and the video description box of this video if you're interested in our intensive jam online tutorials please do join us my details everything is on the whatsapp group okay so from us you are destined to win all right you're destined to win in the forthcoming jam 2024 examination and also in life all right and finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon do give your life to christ for he is the way he's the truth and he's the life you are blessed see you in our next video